is one of my favorite studies by the Society of Research and Child Development that highlights one of the most effective ways to improve perseverance in children. In this experiment, this five-year-old boy has to use that set of keys to open the box in order to play with a toy of his choice. The trick is that none of the keys work and they wanna see how long he'll persist before becoming frustrated and how many keys he's willing to try before he gives up. Watch what happens next. What are these characters do you wanna to pretend to be while you're working on this? Batman? Okay. So to help you pretend, I have this cape here that you get to wear. And so when you get frustrated, I just want you to ask yourself, how is Batman feeling? Can you say that now? Can you say, how is Batman feeling? How yeah. is Batman feeling? Yeah. Participants were told to take on this task while either A, thinking of themselves, their feelings and emotions in first person, or B, from a third person perspective, or C, the perspective of someone who has good self-control and good emotional control, AKA their favorite superhero. The study showed that five-year-olds who performed the activity from the perspective of their favorite superhero actually performed as if they were six years old, showing better emotional regulation, self-control, and persistence when dealing with the frustrating task. Their counterparts, who were not encouraged in the same way and who thought from the first person perspective, performed much like their same age peers. This concept is now called the Batman effect, and many adults and high performers who believe in the growth mindset would argue that this holds true through all of life. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below.